When it comes to gaming, there's plenty of attention focused on consoles and mobile games, but PC gaming is still an enthusiast's dream. In this video, we're going to be breaking down the top 5 best pre-built gaming desktops on the market this year, factoring in both price bracket and performance. So regardless of whether you're looking for a cheap option or the best of the best, we've got an option just for you. If you're interested in finding out which desktop will be best for you, stay tuned. As always, all the links to all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description down below. We always keep the description up to date with information we may not get a chance to mention in this video. We also keep links to find the best prices on each product mentioned in the description, so if you want up-to-date pricing information, be sure to check it out. Now, without a doubt, you can build your own PC for cheaper than buying a pre-built version. And if I'm going to be honest, it's not that difficult to do. But a lot of people do prefer to buy a pre-built version just to make life a bit easier. So all of these options will be pre-built, however, most do offer a lot of customization. So be sure to wait to the end because each desktop can be made to have greater performance or made cheaper based on your specific needs. Now, this list is in no particular order, but first up, we've got the Alienware Aurora R5, or the best value for the money. The CPU is a 4 GHz Intel Core i7-6700K, which is 4.2 GHz with Turbo Boost, a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 graphics card, 16GB of DDR4 RAM, 256GB of SSD storage, and a 2TB HDD, as well as a tray-loading dual-layer optical drive Blu-ray reader. The Aurora R5 looks the part of a tower of power, but it's surprisingly tiny despite its dominating silhouette. Measuring about 1.5 feet tall and just over a foot in depth, it's a far smaller system than your traditional mid-tower case and almost veers into mini ITX territory. Alienware's designs have classically excluded an exotically extraterrestrial quality to them. However, the Aurora is more industrial and it seems more like something from our own future rather than an alien pod, like the Area 51. Ultimately though, there haven't been many gaming PCs with uniquely asymmetrical design like this before. Of course, the Aurora R5 has way more going for it than just a new look. Alienware has re-engineered its entire internal layout, having found a way to fold components into each other to save space without sacrificing accessibility or easy upgradability. Most gaming PCs come with a top or bottom mounted power supply. However, the R5 comes with one that's turned on its side and attached to an articulating arm that swings out of the case and closes over the motherboard. Don't let the Aurora's small size fool you. It's a full-fledged gaming desktop and can even be VR ready, depending on your configuration. With NVIDIA's latest and hottest Pascal GTX 1080 graphics card and an Intel Core i7-6700 CPU on board, the Aurora R5 can really do damage on just about any game that you can think of. The Alienware Aurora R5 is a revolution in gaming desktop design. Putting the power supply on an articulating arm and having it float over the motherboard is completely unorthodox, but it makes a lot of sense when you put it in practice. It is a gorgeous and well-planned system, light on in space and price, but heavy on power and potential. Next up, we've got the CyberPower PC Gamer Ultra 3400A, or the best budget option. The system is AMD FX6300 3.5GHz with 6 cores, an 8GB DDR3 RAM, 1TB of HDD storage, Windows 10 Home 64-bit as the operating system, and an AMD Radeon R7 250 2GB video graphics card. This is certainly an entry-level machine, and you can get better performance value for the money if you build your own computer. However, for those looking for a pre-build gaming package without the hassle of do-it-yourself assembly, this entry-level PC will suit those looking to start gaming, and it has potential for future hardware upgrades. The processor in this computer is an AMD FX 4300 quad-core with a clock speed of 3.8GHz and up to 4GHz on Turbo Boost. Performance-wise, it's okay. The CyberPower PC Gamer Ultra GUA 3100A comes with 8GB of DDR3 RAM and a 1TB 7200RPM hard drive. It's a good amount of storage space and it will be a bit faster than a standard 5400 RPM drive, which is a bonus. The quad-core processor, graphics card with 2GB of dedicated RAM, and system RAM of 8GB on this PC means it can comfortably handle everyday use as well as a variety of games, though don't expect to be able to play more intensive games in high settings without introducing lag. Aesthetically, it looks like a mean gaming PC, with the viewing window providing a nice visual of the internal computer hardware and red case lighting for accents. For both entry-level gaming and general tasks like internet browsing, running apps, and watching videos, this PC will meet your needs for sure. For those who are just looking for a pre-built computer complete with keyboard and mouse that looks the part and gives decent all-around performance, this offering may be for you. Next up, we have the Asus G20 CB WS71, a VR-ready option. It has a 3.4 GHz Intel Core i7-6700 processor, a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 974GB graphics card, 16GB of DDR4 memory, a 128GB high 
Hynix SSD and a 2TB hard disk. The ROG features many of the style points that are typical on gimmick systems, especially those from big brand manufacturers. It's got LEDs on its front and base that can be customized in software, and the front and top panels are decorated with a striking angular pattern, a design Asus has inspired by Mayan tribes. The G20CB comes with reasonable specs. The graphics card is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970, which means it's one of the most powerful single GPU cards around today. 1664 stream processors, a 1050MHz stock clock that reaches 1250MHz with the GPU boost, and 4GB of dedicated 1753MHz GDDR5 memory. The Asus machine's processor is a Core i7-6700. It uses the 14nm Skylake architecture and has four hyper-threaded cores that begin at 3.4GHz and top out at 4GHz. The G20CB includes a normal 16GB of memory, and the storage follows the conventional pattern of a SSD with a hard disk. Connectivity is reasonable. The front panel has two USB 3 ports, with four more on the rear, and there are six audio jacks. The graphics card has the full gamut of connections, DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort. The Asus machine's GPU is good enough for 1080p and 1440p gaming, but it struggles at 4K. The Asus looks good, and despite its below average performance, it does come complete with a VR Ready set that might intend some people towards making the purchase. For updated pricing on this option and updated pricing on everything else, be sure to check out the description. Next up, we have the Lenovo Idea Center Y900, which is our runner up for the best gaming desktop. It has a 4GB Intel Core i7-6700K CPU, a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 graphics card, 16GB of DDR4 RAM, and 128GB of SSD storage, along with a 1TB hard drive. Buying a pre-built desktop PC usually means something's chock full of proprietary hardware that makes it impossible to upgrade. However, Lenovo was bucking that trend with the Lenovo Idea Center Y900. The Lenovo Y900 cuts an intimidating figure. From the glowing red Y and triply angled accents in front, to the plastic panels etched with a carbon fiber-like weave, it's easy to see this gaming PC takes plenty of inspiration from hypercars. Beyond looks, Lenovo has incorporated plenty of features gamers will like. For starters, there's a side window to show off all your components humming inside. Up top, you'll find a carry handle built into the chassis and a set of vents if you choose to add a top-mounted radiator. The Y900 continues its brilliant streak as we go inside and explore its toolless interior. It's easy to open up the case. You don't even need to undo any thumbscrews. With two high-end parts on zap, it's almost a foregone conclusion that the Y900 performs well. It packs enough power to play games at 1080p and ultra settings at a playable 30 to 45 frames per second, but not quite enough for silky smooth 60 FPS. Lenovo's Idea Center Y900 is a different kind of pre-built beast, with an accessible designer case and standard PC parts. It's powerful enough so that you don't have to worry about upgrading it for quite some time, and when you do, it will largely be a stress-free exercise. Last, but definitely not least, we have the Acer Predator G1 710 the best overall gaming desktop. It has a 3.4 GHz Intel Core i7-6700 CPU, 32GB of DDR4 RAM, 512GB of SSD storage, as well as 2TB of hard drive, and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 graphics card. Acer has doubled down on its Predator gaming strategy, launching its craziest gaming PC yet. The Predator G1 features top-end kit inside a chassis that has a volume of just 16 liters. You could call it a pint-sized powerhouse, or, more accurately, a 20.1 pint-sized powerhouse. Though it measures only 16.46 by 4.33 by 13.70 inches, the Black Heavy Predator G1 certainly looks the part of a man the front lines gaming PC. All these design fillips help underplay other necessary visual evils, such as the front panel ports, an SD card slot, a USB-C port, and a USB 3 port, as well as a headphone and microphone jack, and a vertically oriented tray style DVD RW drive, though you probably won't notice that the first time you look at the Predator G1. There are some solid components in here. The 3.4 GHz Intel Core i7-6700 processor is a fine gaming chip these days, and the 32 GB of DDR4 RAM is way more than even most power users will need in most situations. It's very generous in the storage, a 512 GB solid state drive for running Windows 10 and your other programs, and a 2 TB hard drive for data. The video card is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080, the most powerful reasonable single GPU you can buy right now. Despite its diminutive stature, the Predator G1 proved a strong performer for its price. There's no problem with the Predator G1's capabilities as far as everyday productivity performance, in case you wanted to work in a PC that looks like the business end. The Predator G1 710 700 one is without question a great desktop. With the best graphics card on the market, more RAM than you'll almost ever need, tons of storage and a great processor, there's almost no flaw on this desktop, making it our pick for the best overall desktop gaming computer. Alright guys, that's all for this video. Be sure to check out the links in the description down below for updated pricing on all the products mentioned. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, please go ahead and give it a like. If you're new to the channel and you liked it, consider subscribing. We do all kinds of videos like this over a number of products, all aimed to providing the best products and to making purchasing decisions easier. If we missed a product that you personally love, feel free to leave a comment 
comment down below and let everyone know more about it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope everyone has a great day, and until next time, I will see you guys later.